Hello and welcome to Funky Fox Gaming. Following episode of We Were Here was recorded initially on Twitch and I've broken this down into smaller episodes for YouTube. This also features Ricky Hugh. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Oh, well, that's not good. So, I am playing the Librarian, and Rika is playing the Explorer. Ah, walkie talkie. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Well, while he finds his walkie talkie. Testing, uh, testing. Oh, that's very loud. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, it's reset my thing. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Uh, you're actually ridiculously loud now compared to the main menu screen. As well now. So, um, I've got a few things which look like there could be clues. Go on, I'm just adjusting your volume, if you could just give me a test a little bit, because you can change it in game. Test, test, test. Even Drake is saying loud. Yes, yeah, so if you go into your sound options, Funky, and change your voice chat volume down. That'll be, I think, it's receiving volume. Yeah, I've just dropped you down by 20. Uh, it should be better than I've dropped you down. Yep, I can hear you now. Cool, all good then. So what can you see? So I have a model in lovely bloody writing, uh, The Answer Lies. Ah, well, I've literally just seen a book that says, Between the Eyes. And we all know that rhyming is a thing, so... I've, I've, oh, I've got a chart with some eyes on it. Okay, red eyes on the left and blue eyes on the right. Top left, top right. Okay, that's these two towards the bottom then. So, um, the first one is a sort of a squiggle. It's a short down, long up, short down. See that anywhere? Um, maybe, yeah. Is it like a, a tick with then like a reverse tick on it? Yes. Yep, okay, I've got that. 
and then the second one, blue eye wise, is a circle with a, an X through it. Cool. Oh, that opened the gate. It opened. Open a door for me. There seems to be so much more in here that looks like it would be a clue. So I might have to come back to this room at some point. Okay, well I'm trapped in this room now and there's a clock. Uh, well, my next room has a lot of beds. Can you see any beds? Um, that was creepy. Actual birds or like symbolic? Pictures of birds. No. Okay, maybe I'm back in the other room again then. Moved on too quick, perhaps. Bomb neck and then <laughs> a snail shelf on its back. Oh. Did you say you just seen something with a snail shell? Weird skull as well. Okay. Does it have fingers for feet? Yeah, like a monkey's hand or feet. Okay, let me just check the other pictures. I think I might have found the right one. Yeah, it's a skull with a head body with like monkey hands, feet. And it's like a snail shell on its back. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be this one then. Um, have you got any symbols nearby? Yeah, I've got lots of symbols. So, there's three. First one is like a, a trident with a stand. Uh, yep, think about that. The next one is someone with like wispy hair on the sides with a really shocked expression. Oh, well, uh, top left and top right of the head, like a square. Yeah. Okay, and the last one? And the last one kind of looks like a turtle that's been impaled on a spike. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. Two are very similar. Oh, that was not right. Yeah, I heard that. Um, so, so let me let me just describe. So, the first one is the trident. It's got little circles on top of the three prongs, and then it's like a semicircle stand at the bottom. And does that go in the leftmost slot, I guess? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. The middle slot is the shocked man with the side top corner wispy hairs. Wispy hair is the next one. And that's number two, yeah? Yeah, that is number two. So number three you said was a turtle. Yeah, that number three is like a turtle that's impaled in the bump. Is it like flat base and then a cross in the middle? Yes. Head and then two, arm, two arms, two legs. Yeah. Oh, I think I got a trident one wrong with two of them. to try it perfectly, how could you? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's worked. I got a chime. There's some... Uh, but I don't like these noises. There's something behind me. Something behind you? Something banging on the door. Okay, now I have a door that says orange in front of me, in purple writing. I have some pipes. 
joke. Orange and purple writing. See, my next room, um, I've got three pipes with three colored wheels in a flooded room. Do we see anything that's like blue, red, and yellow? Um, I forgot I'm not using the fucking radio. Oh yeah, the water level's rising. Um, there was literally just what I said before. So the word orange in purple. I may die. I can't seem to drop this book now. Oh no! No, there we go. It's done it. Oh no, I might die. I think I'm gonna die. Well, it was nice knowing you, Funky. Oh, uh, I don't have anything that's like. Orange or purple. Yeah, now I have a door that says orange in purple writing. And orange pipes. Successful start. Right, so. Oh. Right, so. Start again. <laughs> uh, blue. <laughs> blue eye and green eye, left and right. Okay, blue eye left is. It's like an, a straight up line with like a slope on the right hand side. Kind of looks like an A, but without the horizontal bar. I've got a straight up line with like a three at the top of it. Nope. I've got... types of M. One N. Yeah, go for the N. It's the N. Okay. And then the green eyes and M. Proper M, not a proper M. Cool. Right. Before we move on, let me just quickly explore the room. See if I can find anything that's color based like that. Swan. Swan with the snail shell in the middle. I just found a lever that puts stuff on a map. Oh. I'm assuming that'll be something later on. Yeah, so I've got 
swan with a snail shell on its back, and aside from that, it's a pretty normal swan. Okay, so it might be that one. Okay, I think I might have the right one, but just to double check, there's two that look pretty similar, but one of them looks like it's got a really long beak on the front and then like a short parrot style beak on the back. I'm assuming it's not that. Okay. Sorry, I thought I hit V again. Apparently, no, I just hit, I just changed his key. Yeah, it's not the one with the beak on the back. Okay, so it's got like five strands of hair at the top, on top of his head. So, has he got five strands of hair on top of his head? Yeah, I did say yes, and... It didn't come through. So, okay, your three symbols then. You've got Shocked Man, first one. Uh, okay. Second one kind of looks like a wine glass with breasts. I think another one. And the last one looks like. Um, oh, I'm just going to say it. Looks like a penis with um, a key tip at the end. A silo? Could be a silo. Yeah, that's worked. Yeah, well, I've got it. Right, do not move into the next room yet. It's the fact that something's banging at the door now. Right, will I walk in this room or are we ready? Uh, well I can't see anything in the room that in the room that I'm in that's colour based, so it must be at the bottom of the other one. Should I move through yet or not yet? Not just yet. So you said last time it was Orange written in purple? Uh, yes. So there must be something. Probably won't be the same colours, but there must be something like that somewhere. I don't like this thing banging at the door. Yeah, I've got some orange pipes, I've got a table with a blue rug on it. Um, and if anything more, I'll have to go in to see. Well, all I've got is a long stairwell down, passing loads of statues in armour. And then at the very bottom, there's uh, just like an, an open plumbing room, I guess, um, with three pipes with three different coloured wheels. What are the wheel colours? Blue, red and yellow. Oh, you said purple and orange, didn't you? So, blue and red would be purple and red and yellow will be orange okay well dive in and we'll try it yeah we'll give it a go 
Uh, okay, this time it's purple in green text. Right. Let me let me give purple a go then. Yep. I did it. Excellent. We worked it out. <laughs> Alright, I can't see anything for this one. I just have a switch in the middle of this room, so... I'm heading back to my first room, see if I can find anything. Uh, I have a white gate. A white gate. Bring down the guiding light. Oh, that may be the switch that I found earlier. Ah, right, okay. So, white gate, so if you head forward. Yep. Oh. Uh, and then take a right. You can go left or right, so he's... Go right. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I have another way right, which actually looks like to a study. And straight ahead, which is a corner going left, and in this corner I have a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a painting of a dog candlestick. A dog candlestick. Dick. Um. Well, I'm not sure that you need to do anything in any of the rooms. Basically, the map that I found earlier. Oh, there we go. Right. So the map that I found earlier. Um, it just gives me sort of some doors and rooms with X's on them. Oh, okay, so I've got a blue switch in here, which is right and then right again. Yeah, so that's an X for me. Alright, let me pull the switch. Oh, my symbols have gone one sec. Right, okay. Um, if you head back out and go the opposite way. Okay, I'm alright. Okay, uh... Oh, can you see a green door? No doors here. So I've headed left, I've come to a open room. Do you want me to head right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see a red switch? Not yet. This game is giving me the spook factor because I've seen some one something down here. Well, that's why I sent you down there. Aha, found the green lever. Found the green lever? Yeah. Okay, um, pull that one. Done. Oh, that clicked about to close it. Yeah, so you need to go all the way back on yourself. You went the opposite way to what I thought you were going.
So you need to go past the room with the blue cross. One second. Slow, Snappy, slow. This place is big. Okay, so headed right from the start. At the room with the blue switch. Keep going. Yeah, what you come across? Uh, a blue gate that's down, so maybe I need to pull this. Yeah, try try flicking the blue switch and then go back to it then. turn right and go into the open room. There should be a room on your right. So do I go straight on, sorry, or left? You cut out. I said there should be a room to your right. Um, so I've gone, let me go back to the door. So yeah, through a door, up some stairs, I then get open into a room where there is a green door. Ah, so the green door's closed. Currently closed, yes. Right, okay. The good news is, I know exactly what we need to do. The bad news is, you're going to have to undo a lot of very... Pretty much everything you've just done. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I think I know where I'm going now. Meow. So, you need to go back to the blue switch room and push that. Trigger the green switch. Go yep. door when it's open. Get the red switch. Yes, Chunk Grow. It is. Because it's not immediately obvious what's open and what's closed. And the fact that you have to keep doing the map. doing a bump do, 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 do. <laughs> Well, you know, that's our Rurika. How are you getting on? Uh, just a green switch now. Back on myself to blue switch, flick that again. Yeah, so you flick the blue switch, get into the past where the green door was, flick the red switch, and then back to do the blue and then the green. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. And then on the other side, probably certain death. You'll find out who's banging. Just keep it down, like Jesus. Probably a Tungra. <laughs> Tungra can be loud, it's true.
Why do I get the feeling that he's like stuck there somewhere, batting at some ball of yarn? Okay, blue flicked on my way back to green now. I'm impressed by like how big this place is, but it also doesn't feel that big, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it, it's effectively like a series of small squares just wrapped around itself, so it just feels bigger because it goes around in a big circle. Hey! 